<laughs> oh, no, you did not, Leo Santa Cruz. No, you did not. Hold on one second. Let me turn on the volume here on my TV. Leo Santa Cruz, you do not ever have the right to comment about a fight between Rigondeaux and anybody. Not when you blatantly ducked Guillermo Rigondeaux. You and the guy you fought twice and Carl Frampton, along with Scott Quigg, who ducked, blatantly ducked Vasily, not Vasily Lomachenko, I'm about to say they ducked Vasily Lomachenko, ducked Guillermo Rigondeaux. Are you out of your mind? What possessed you to comment on that fight? In fact, Leo Santa Cruz, if you're ever asked anything regarding Guillermo Rigondeaux, you need to be fucking quiet. You need to run away. If you know that there are going to be guys asking you questions and the Rigondeaux is amongst those questions, stay away. Do what you did best and duck the question. Don't ever, 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 ever come out your face and talk or comment about how, according to BoxingScene.com, I'll leave a link in the description, Leo Santa Cruz says that Lomachenko is too big and he beats Rigondeaux. Huh. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, you know, you, you're assessing size and, and you're, uh, you know, saying how uh, that is the reason why Rigondeaux would lose. Man, if you don't shut your dumb ass, coward, scary ass motherfucking... Man, I, I really can't. I can't. Let me tell you something, Leo Santa Cruz. You know, I was one when you first came on the scenes. I was like, man, I, I, I really wanted to keep my eye on you. Uh, you beat Abner Mares, And I was like, yo, this kid, is he's on his, he's on his way up. But when you started playing Duck Duck Goose with Grigandell... And you and the little trifecta, the little ducking trifecta, it was, it was Scott Quigg, Frampton, and you. And y'all kept doing this little ring around the rosy act, especially when it was in regards to Rigondeaux. That's when you showed me your true colors. Leo Santa Cruz, you gets no respect. I will never, ever, ever, ever let you live this shit down. You ducked him. And if it, and I would be do, going hard just to call Frampton the same exact way. Because y'all all a bunch of punk ass pussies. You didn't want to fight ringing down, so you can't comment on the fight. Now, as, and if you really want to talk about it, size isn't everything. And ringing down showed you that size isn't everything. Ringing down is not a big man. I mean, it's really, uh, I mean, come on, guys. Who are we kidding? He's right now currently training at 129. He's not a big man. The man had damn sure can punch, and he damn sure knows how to neutralize power punchers. That's actually his favorite. That's what he likes to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the, the guys who they think that they have superior boxing skill over him, when they get in the ring, Rigondeaux is excellent at slowing the pace and you fighting at his pace. That's one of the most brilliant things this man can do. All right? Fucking idiot. Oh, he's too big for Rigondeaux. <sighs> no, his balls are too big for you. That's what that means. Because you a punk ass motherfucker who don't want to challenge himself and fight nobody. Get out of here. Who do you think you fooling Leo Santa Cruz, man?